Super Attack 10. I have full dupe system unlock. I don't think I'll rainbow him because he doesn't need to be rainbow to be good. Um, like, like I don't think rainbow's gonna benefit him that much. I mean, okay, like he can hit a bit harder, tank a bit better, but I mean, he's made to support and he's made to mitigate damage, which he does quite well just as is. So, I'm gonna go over the card. Uh, let you guys know why I like him. Uh, sorry, I burped a little bit. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go over the card. Let you guys know why I like him so much, and you know, let let you know what he does and everything. So, lead ability. Transformation boost, so that's the transformation category. Uh, two key, fifty percent stat. So okay, I'll take it. Uh, supreme damage raises extreme class allies attack by thirty percent for one turn. So extreme class only. You know that's biased towards super cars, but I mean whatever. I don't really care. Passive mitigate damage by thirty percent on condition. That's what I want to see on conditional damage mitigation, just as is. Like I love it. So freaking nice. He has 20% defense at start of turn, and he gets, um, and he gets additional 20%, I believe, for every attack received up to 60%. So his max additional defense can be 60%, but you need to get attacked to obviously get that stacked a little bit, which you know it's not hard to stack. I mean, just what get, get hit like two or three times, and you're at what like 60% defense. So it's not difficult. And uh, category allies, two key. 30% stats only to the movie bosses category. So he's a really good card for movie bosses because he does provide that two key and 30% additional attack and defense support. He does reduce a lot of damage because he has additional defense in his passive along with flat out damage mitigation. So very freaking cool. Link sets on point in my opinion. Uh, Starting Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Prodigies, Thirst of Conquest, Shocking Speed, Brutal Beat Down, and Shattering the Limits. And he fits on like like five categories, like movie bosses, full power, transformation, most malevolent clan, and seeker of the dragon balls. So this card is amazing. Uh, I actually paired him up with the LR cooler in the video. I actually had the video. It's a pre-recorded video. Uh, just voice on it if you haven't told that by now. But uh, I have him paired with LR cooler. I I think a better pairing would all. I, I should just honestly put him on the third rotation. And uh, when he came around, he would obviously support the units that are there. Cause I had Beerus and Janimba. Then I had him and the LR cooler. But He's actually better fit in the third slot. Uh, that way, when he comes around, he can obviously give the other units the additional 30% attack and defense, along with two key if links aren't that great, obviously. But, um, I mean, if you want to link him up with, let's say, um, the Don't Confess so Cooler, uh, Physical Cooler, that is, uh, or the LR Cool like I'm doing in the video, then that's perfectly fine because he shares a lot of links with those units. Uh, you can also pair him up as well with the Full Power Freezer, but that's going to be on Extreme Physical. I don't think full power freeze up fits on movie boss. So yeah, I don't think yeah he doesn't at all. So uh, I put him on extreme physical. You can pair him up with obviously the full power freeze up. Uh, they don't share obviously over the flash, but he does provide two k as a passive. So that's gonna provide some kind of super attack consistency between two of those units. And you all you obviously have cooler. You know cooler is a big staple on the team. So that's gonna be awesome. So uh, the team's awesome. I mean this unit does buff them a little bit, which kind of needed. It kind of I mean. In terms of the movie bosses, in comparison to the hero cards, like the hero category, the um, movie heroes, yeah, it's like, movie heroes is like blissing everything, and movie bosses kind of is lagging behind, so any additional attack and defense buff they can get to the team, it is actually freaking needed, so I love this card, I almost want to rainbow him just because he's so good. But he doesn't need to be rainbow to be good. That's the thing. Uh, he reduces damage and support. Like, he doesn't need to hit hard. Like, he just supports and mitigates damage. So, him being rainbow star isn't going to be that helpful, in my opinion. In my opinion, damn it. I got to say that in every video now because people want to roast me about things I say. In my opinion, he's not that great at rainbow star because not that big of a difference in terms of what he actually is made to do. Like, you know, support and mitigate damage. But, you know, he's a great card. I'll have movie bosses and probably extreme fizz uh, from here on because I love what he does. I love it. So, uh, anyways, guys, quick video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment down below, and subscribe. Make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah! I will not let you destroy my world!